hello friends welcome to this session in this session i am going to demonstrate um, demo about aws glue aws uh, glue and amazon athena um, so uh, in this particular session i will uh, demonstrate end to end how you can uh, uh, scroll uh, s3 data uh, by using aws glue uh, crawler to the data catalog in the glue and from that uh, glue data catalog we will query uh, those data from s3 uh, to um, by using athena we will query the data okay so um, so mainly like whatever data available in s3 that will be uh, you, you are easily able to uh, query by using uh, amazon athena service uh, at the end of this demo okay so uh, aws glue is a serverless uh, data integration service like kind that is providing the uh, features of like uh, etl extract transform um, load those data through like a central manage the data catalog and crawler and uh, different features um, it is a completely serverless service and uh, same way like amazon ethena is kind of like a query uh, service uh, that will allow you to query data from s3 okay so let's uh, directly jump into the um, 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 practical session um, so here first of all we are creating one s3 bucket for this demo so i am giving that uh, name like s3 glue uh, athena demo uh, users okay so I'm creating this bucket uh, and this bucket uh, we will uh, uh, and in in this bucket I am uploading some data like s3 glue within a demo users so in this particular bucket bucket I am uploading some sample data I have this uh, CSV file here okay so this data file I am uploading uh, now so this data file like it is having a few sample data like um, um, id and names uh, so those data csv data i have uploaded to s3 folder which we created recently so if we see like the s3 gluathena demo users this particular bucket having this uh, csv file with few id and names data that we will at the end uh, query by using this uh, athena service okay so first of all we created bucket and we uploaded one file now we are going into the glue and in glue first of all uh, we are creating one database okay one new database so here we are uh, uh, in in aws glue uh, we are uh, cl clicking on database and then we are creating one new database say for example we are giving name uh, s3 glue within a demo db okay so as soon as database is created uh, uh, right now there is a no any uh, table within this particular database uh, uh, s3 glue within a demo db uh, so there are few tables but those are, are some different table i was created before so in this particular database there is a uh, no any uh, uh, um, table relevant to this particular s3 uh, bucket okay so let me uh, go to the uh, crawler um, so in this crawler um, let me go to the crawler and i am uh, now adding a new uh, glue uh, crawler so um, this uh, uh, that glue crawler will uh, 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 crawl the data s3 data and then it will um, add into the uh, data catalog okay database i mean glue database uh, data catalog and within a table so data catalog is nothing but like uh, kind of like indexing and uh, tracking of the your or exact uh, data from different location uh, so it will be easily um transform and uh, fetch uh, by using glue so let me now adding a uh, crawler uh, for this particular s3 bucket to crawl those data so here i'm um, creating one new scroller s3 uh, glue uh, uh, athena demo 
controller okay so i am creating this new uh, crawler and uh, we are crawling source data from data uh, data store so we will use s3 and for now we are uh, crawling all all folder uh, default setting uh, so here we are selecting s3 there are different option also dynamodb like uh, also jdbc you can use rds connection and all those things so for now i am using s3 um, no no any connection required for s3 case um, and here I am giving path like that we will give our f uh, particular path which is we created that uh, bucket mm. so s3 glue athena demo uh, users this folder we created so I am selecting this bucket as a input path from there we will uh, take the data uh, we are also able to give multiple data store but for now we are I am using single one um, uh, here if we have any existing role then we can select any existing role otherwise we can uh, I'll select this default option create a IAM role so for now I am creating new IAM role so with same like s3 glue within a demo uh, we can say role so that will create a new role and uh, frequency there are if we, are, we are able to schedule this uh, crawler if we want but for now i am run on i am keeping that run on demand and next and then database like where you want to store your uh, crawling result okay so that we need to store in uh, glue data catalog so we already created one database new database in glue data catalog that is s3 glue within a demo db okay so our result will be stored into this particular database as a table okay glue catalog table so let me do next so here we have all those setting done um, like we have used a data store s3 and that particular bucket which we created i am role uh, we new created uh, on run on demand and database uh, database we selected this new created database in our catalog uh, so now i am clicking on finish so here we done with creating crawler so s3 glue within a demo new crawler is created now i am running this crawler okay so you can see this is started running so whatever data here we put this users.csv file within a this s3 glue athena demo users uh, s3 bucket so this crawler our crawler will uh, crawl that particular bucket and uh, within a our database uh, new created database tab uh, database it will create one uh, table uh, for this particular bucket scrolling result okay so here s3 glue within a demo crawler is running let us refresh that as soon as it will uh, stopping it will um, uh, once it is done it will show like it is stopping or something so in in this particular database uh, s3 glue within a demo uh, there will be a table uh, there is a some uh, problem you can see like this is a uh, another database uh, table it is showing uh, inside this database so there might be some filtering issue in this uh, particular ui so this uh, database is different but our database is this like uh, s3 glue within a demo now this new table is created so if we see uh, crawler it should be stopped now so here you can see like status is s3 glue within a demo crawler status is stopping so it is done okay so in our new database s3 glue within a demo db uh, if we go to table in uh, this particular so there are um, this is showing might be some problem but this is our s3 glue within a demo db database and this new table is created okay so s3 glue within a demo users so this bucket is uh, get uh, crawl and uh, this new table is created in uh, glue data catalog and you can see like these are the different property um, auto created like cla classification csv used uh, detected um, uh, this is the location which we given and also there is a uh, this is a comma um, used uh, for daily uh, and also you can see like this schema is auto passed like in that particular file initially i saw there was two common column only id and name okay so those are uh, auto uh, 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 those schema are auto scroll by using this scroller in this catalog table okay so now we have uh, this s3 um, bucket created with data and we have uh, this crawler created with the glue job and that crawler run and that uh, uh, 
table uh, like glue catalog table is also created within a database now we have to go into the Athena and we have to uh, query over this uh, data catalog table okay glue data catalog table so from Athena I, um, like it is a kind of query um, um, query uh, supporting um, service which will allow us to query data into as uh, s3 by using glue uh, catalog uh, table okay so let me go to this ex uh, explore the query editor initially whenever you first time open this athena you need to do setting one setting go to the setting and manage in manage there you need to specify the s3 bucket you need to browse and specify the s3 bucket i already uh, uh, said did this setting you can give any folder name because whatever query you run uh, it will require some s3 bucket to store those result okay so that is i already said so you, if you did not set you need to set this first before running any query okay so here uh, this is the editor uh, here it will show the data source like um, AWS data catalog that is a, uh, nothing but a glue uh, data catalog and here we have a database so uh, if you see we created one new database uh, that is S3 glue within a demo DB so if we need we need to select that particular database S3 glue within a demo DB so it will automatically show here uh, that particular database table this, this is a which we created through glue uh, crawler okay so s3 glue within a demo users so s3 glue within a demo user so here we just need to uh, click here and we need to do preview table so you can see like uh, this query is run select star from uh, this s3 glue within a demo db dot s3 glue within a demo users with limit of 10 so this query given here result you can see one two three four five and these are the list of users so if we see in our file which is i uploaded that is the same file uh, same result like a one two three four id and uh, uh, total four name and last name is my my name jaymit so you can see like in this ethena uh, query result uh, you you see that same data okay so whatever data available inside the s3 bucket uh, that data is now this particular query is showing uh, athena query okay so here we even we are able to do different query as well like limit uh, two so it will give only two result okay so this is a very quick uh, you are able to do this query on uh, glue data uh, catalog table by using athena uh, from uh, so uh, that way you are able to uh, get your s3 data like here data is in csv file but you are able to do sql query on your data uh, uh, from athena uh, by using glue catalog table okay so this is a quick demo about end to end demo about how so here we created s3 bucket uploaded one csv file with some data we created a glue, uh, glue uh, crawler crawl that s3 and uh, we created like catalog database and uh, that uh, once we run crawler that uh, glue catalog table created and that table we are using within a Athena uh, to qu query the things okay so here we are able to do any advanced things also we are able to upload more data and those data we are able easily able to do different SQL query on S3 so this is a really great service like glue and Athena so this is here we demonstrated like a crawler uh, and um, tables and database in uh, glue data uh, catalog data, uh, data catalog but there are many lots of features in glue like you are able to do etl kind of jobs like transform your s3 data into the rds or any other many many things you are able to do you are you are able to do uh, apache uh, spark and those kind of uh, scripting uh, in python for a data um, uh, transform and load things in the uh, by using glue okay so there are a lot of connectors and many things are available you are able to connect different sources and many things you are able to do by using glue related to etl like extract transform and load things okay so hope you like this glue and athena uh, quick end-to-end uh, uh, -end demo uh, please uh, like share and subscribe my channel for this kind of exciting technical session thank you for your time and thank you for watching